Hello fellow commander, today I'm going to give you my tips on exploration in Elite Dangerous Beta 2.04. First and foremost, you want the longest range you can get out of your ship, at least 10 light years. The best way to achieve that is by stripping your ship of its weapon, shield, and cargo hold. Next you want to buy a new frame shift drive to get an extra light years out of your ship. They won't show up until you relog though. Also you should get a detailed surface scanner. Now we're ready for exploration. First you need to find a good system with lots of planets. A good way to find them is to check how many people are living in the system. Another way to check is to look in the market to see what's available to buy and note the highest valued system. After you've found a good system, you need to find its content. Once you are at your new system, put your throttle at zero and start a D-scanner ping to see what's within your range, which is around 500 light seconds, depending on its own mass. Target a star in front of you, and while it's scanning, check the system maps for tips on where to start. Here I got a few planets, but not all as you can see. There's another star here, and more planets for sure. To find them, I usually go 90 degrees down and start looking around which dots are moving. You can clear a CD of the star here. And also the missing planet there. One of the easiest ways to find a distant star of a system is to look at the orbit of the main star. In the current version of the game, the other stars are always at the aphelion of the main star where you jumped off. So if you look at the complete opposite side of the orbit of the main star, you should find your secondary star. The closer you get, you start to see planets around the other stars. It's a good thing to count them, so when you arrive at the stars, you don't spend hours looking for a missing planet. Most of the time your ping won't get as much planet as that. There's no easy way to find the other planet. One of the things I do is to go again 90 degrees off the system and start looking at the moving dots. In the current version of the game, the bright side of the planet are always on the side of the main star, so even though it's the furthest one away, they will always shine on that side. As you see here, we don't see any of the planets because we are on the wrong side. Another good thing to do is to check your system map. When you think you've found everything, just check your system map to see if there are some missing planets. In the current version, you can clearly see that there are missing planets somewhere. So if you start looking inside the found planet's orbit, you might find your missing planet. Once in a while, you will find a planet that looks like Earth. You really need to fully scan those planets. So you just have to lock them and get close, and it will automatically scan the planet. But don't scan anything else. In the current version of the game, if you scan another planet, you will start losing money. So it's not a good thing to do. When you think you're finished, just down to any station and sell your data. Here's a few systems that I scanned and got a lot of money. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other tips, don't be shy to share them in the comments and maybe I will add them in the next version of the beta. Maybe we'll cross each other in the system far, far away. This was Commander Tubardo. Thank you for watching.